Hello, my fellow youths, and welcome to this video. It's an impromptu video. I shouldn't really actually be on the computer right now, but I needed to get something recorded and out there sooner rather than later. I have tried recording a video similar like this, but I just end up getting really angry and spiral into just nonsensical rambling. But I just want to talk about token security right now. Even though there is no warnings on GitHub, and we do technically mention token security on the self-bot page. And a side note, stop using self-bots, you will get banned. We haven't actually mentioned proper token security in any of our documentation or in any of our videos, not to the extent that we should have. So that's gonna change. After this brief like one-on-one, -on -one, whatever this is, uh, I'm gonna show you creating a new bot, just how to secure your token. And we're gonna be using a file called gitignore. And basically the way I like to remember it is it tells git to ignore certain files. So it won't put them up on whatever git platform you're using. So we're gonna, as I said, we're gonna be doing that. And I just want people to realize the gravitation of this, the, the gravity of it, gravitation. A bot's token is their login credentials. If you have a bot that's on five guilds, that's five guilds potentially exposed or at risk for nefarious purposes, whatever this third party wants to do with the token. It all depends on what permissions you give the bot. If you give a bot full admin permissions, if this third party is a complete waste of space, they can completely and utterly annihilate your server, which is not good. It is recommended never to give a bot full admin permissions. It's recommended to never do that, never do that. Even if it's your own bot, never give a bot full administrative permissions ever. Uh, but it varies from guild to guild. For example, I have Guidebot or York Dev as it's internally known. Basically, I could have Guidebot on my test server with manage roles or manage guild permissions. And I could have Guidebot on a second server with only the basic send and read message permissions. That server would only get spammed whilst the first server I mentioned could potentially get destroyed. Now, this bit is going to piss off a lot of people, and I know it is. Securing the bot token is the bot developer's problem. It is their responsibility. If they have not secured their token and you guys get affected, it is the bot owner's responsibility. We advocate token security. We've been getting message after message after message after message on and off for the last two, maybe three months now of being, being accused of breaking other people's bots. We do not do that. We help people make bots. We do not abuse bots. If it's our own bots, yes, we abuse them to test things, but we do not go out of our way to go into GitHub or whatever Git repository and search for tokens to destroy servers. No. Now, uh, sorry, I had to do a cut there. Um, basically, I just went off on one of those nonsensical ramblings. But yeah, anyway, I've rambled on enough, so let's get to the actual video. All right, so as I was saying, um, first thing says we're going to create a new folder and just call it my bot. I'm gonna enter the folder. Then we're just gonna right click open with code. I'm using VS Code now, so deal with it guys. And we're going to initialize a Git repository and we're gonna initialize an, M an NPM thingy. And they're pretty straightforward. Uh, we just want to toggle the terminal, which is control apostrophe. Let's just, if I can grab it. Okay, I can't apparently grab anything, just it's still loading. Okay. 
I shrink none all the way. All the okay, so get in it. That'll initialize an empty git repository and it'll show git folder that. So now we just do npm uh, init dash y, which is kind of like a flag, which basically will auto agree <coughs> uh, everything in the initialization. So just wait for that to complete. And usually it doesn't take this long. There we go. Okay, so we've got a package file. And now we just want to throw in a Discord. Oh, I discord.js. And I'll install something. But I want you to notice this little icon here is source control. Basically, that will show you all of the changes in your repository that you have not committed yet. Right now, it's only saying one because of the package.json file, but now it's saying 274. So we're just going to create a couple more files. Index.js, and I'm going to grab the example bot from the Git book. Gonna save it. So there's now 275 files. We're gonna go to adding a configuration file and we're going to add a JSON file. Config.json save. So it's now 275 files. Oh, no, 276. And you can see all these U's are untracked and uncommitted. But we just need to let's just quickly fix that code. Uh, just grab that. Uh, paste. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of dish construction. Const token comma prefix close equals require. God damn it, I can't see my keyboard. Config.json. And we just remove this, this, this. And we forgot to grab the last line. Where did I? That one. We forgot to grab that line. And again, remove config part. Okay. So that is basically your bot for this example. Now I'm not actually going to go to the trouble of actually putting this up on GitHub. That is outside the scope of this brief guide. But if we look here, all of these files in your nodes module folder will be committed to GitHub, which is bad, including your config.json, which will have your very valuable bot token. So, uh, whilst you're in the main directory, just click new file and put in dot git egg no. Hit save. Now, you just want to put in node modules slash save. The folder becomes greyed out. And now we're only committing five files to GitHub. It's basically telling Git to ignore this folder. So we want to tell Git to ignore config.json. And look, config.json is grayed out. It will not be committed. Now, if we look in here, these are the files. I'm gesturing with my fingers, you can't see my hands. These are the files that will actually get put onto GitHub. Git ignore file, which is the file we just typed. Index.js, which is our bot's main file. Package.json and package lock.json. Now, um, I just want to show you something. GitHub.com and idiots guide slash 
街坊。Dismiss, go away. I should already have an account, but I'm not logged in, logged in apparently. As you can see, we have a git ignore here. And th these are like the default things, but look right here. We're not committing a test, just a tech JavaScript file. We're not committing our, because uh, this uses nmap level db to begin with. So we're not committing our data folder. And we're not config, uh, committing our config.json or config.js files. And somewhere there is uh, node modules files are also not being deployed. Oh, as well as the .en.environmental files, which is also a viable way of doing it. But yeah, if you just use this one file, with this line for representing whatever configuration file you are using. If you haven't follow this guide, and mainly this is for JavaScript, it'll work in either uh, discord.js or Eris, it'll work. Um, but if you've already committed the JSON file to GitHub, you will need to delete it from GitHub first. Once you've deleted it and updated your copy, your local copy of the repository, and then you commit the, the git ignore file, you should be fine. But always, always reset your bot token. But anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.